Hi everyone, I'm Don Stouter, and in this video I'm going to play with the um, Smart Tags feature of Photoshop Elements 15. Uh, this is really kind of a fun feature and you may or may not find it useful, but sometimes it allows you to group certain images that might not normally fall within your normal tagging. And it's very easy to use, but the first thing we have to do is make sure that we have analyze smart tags set in our preferences. So here I am within the organizer of Elements 15. I'm going to go up to Edit, click on the menu bar. We're under Edit. Slide down to Preferences. Slide on over and down to Media Analysis and make sure that Analyze Media for Smart Tags is on. Notice my personal preference for using the organizer in Elements is not to run uh, face recognition automatically. So I've made sure it's on, so I'll just click OK to exit the dialog box. Now, simply to use it, up in the upper right hand corner you see a blue magnifying glass. Actually this magnifying glass is a door into various searching capabilities that are provided within Elements 15. But I'm for this video video am only going to look at smart tags. So I'm going to click on the magnifying glass. I'm going to go over here to the left hand side where there is a column of tools that group pictures uh, by various criteria. The very top one though says smart tags and I just put my mouse over it and as soon as I do a variety of icons open up and these represent what Photoshop Elements has uh, determined after examining uh, the pictures in your catalog what kind of picture it's looking at. And as you can see there are all kinds of strange and overlapping subjects. For example, plain in my catalog there's 1242 pictures. Golf 18. Notice that football there's 2,232. Baseball is 1,600. And by the way, um, that isn't baseball most likely, that's softball. But, you know, how can elements tell that? Somebody running, there's 611 pictures. There's 383 pictures of cars. And we can go on and on. Notice there's 289 of sunsets and just kind of scan for a few seconds the kinds of categories that you see here of pictures. These are not the normal things that you may be tagging sometimes. Um, what did I even see up here? Car, automobile, two different names for the same thing and not quite 383 cars and only 60 automobiles and yet the top picture there looks to me like the very same picture. So what if we want to look at one of these classifications? Well let's just take one that looks kind of strange here. Look at this is interesting. This says softball. These pictures apparently, these 134 pictures, apparently there was enough in the picture to indicate that that picture was of the game of softball. Here's aircraft 106. Well, let's say I want to look at these 106 pictures of aircraft. Click on it, and you will notice that something happens on the right hand side. And if I kind of move my mouse, which would automatically close that screen we we're just looking at, you will see these are the pictures that the media analysis identified as aircraft. Pretty good range of pictures, some not quite so good. But it could be useful for you to have to pick out the pictures in this way. 
uh, you'd certainly get a lot of different airplane pictures to look at. Yeah, you'd have some false positives, but that's okay. Okay, so let's, um, so we can do with that. Well, let's say we wanted to use one of these before we leave this. Let's for, say, for example, oh, that picture right there of the biplane, that particular one, I'd like to do something with. Maybe I want to edit it. Maybe I want to give it some tags that it doesn't already have down here. Any number of things. So what I can do is with this group opened up, aircraft, click on grid or the back arrow to the left of grid. Now these same pictures are opened up in the media window where I have access to my flags or tags I mean. I also can open them up in the photo editor and do whatever I want with them. But I need to go back and view them in the grid. Okay, so let's kind of return to um, our smart search or our smart tags. Again, starting with uh, the magnifying glass. Notice when I go back, the aircraft has already been selected. Okay, so let's put our mouse over the top icon again and let's see if we have any pictures uh, that have cars in them also. Let's click on that. Notice up at the top I have aircraft slash sign in a circle cars. What you're seeing here is every picture that Elements has found that either has a car or an aircraft in it. And that slash is uh, for the operator or. We can click on it and we can either exclude or we can change it to a an and. If I click on and, now any pictures that are shown have both an aircraft and a car in them. This one's pretty clear. I'm not sure if this one would have a car in it or not, but uh, at least let's see what we can do. Maybe if we make the pictures bigger. I'll try the shortcut key, keyboard key shortcut, control plus, and sure enough, I can make the pictures bigger I don't, oh, I do see a car right here. Elements was able to pick that out and say that's a car. Certainly that's an aircraft. Pretty obvious here that we have an aircraft, but instead of, I mean a car, but instead of an aircraft, we have a train. So, like I said, it's not perfect, but sometimes, pretty much always, you can get some really interesting and surprising results. But on occasion, you can find really what you want. Okay, so I'm, and if I want to make the car go away, now I'm only having pictures of presumably aircraft. Why the, um, I think this is a football stadium in Colorado. Uh, I think it's Folsom Stadium. And uh, why that's considered an airplane, I'm not sure. So that is pretty much all there is to uh, using smart tags how you how they can help you or at least entertain you later we'll look at some of these other icons here in another video or tutorial uh, thanks for watching i'm going to go back by the way to the grid uh, well, i want to turn off i'm still just looking at the results of that smart media search so i'm going to click on media and make sure that all media are here. Now you can see this is all my catalog, which is reasonably large here, about 10,000 items right down here. Okay, I'd like to thank you for watching. I hope this video was somewhat useful to you. And check back later uh, for other videos. Again, I'm Don Stouter. Thanks for your time.